the objective of this video is to graph, if possible, all this equation and then see some common characteristics of uh, the graph that we are drawing. So let's start with the first graph. So y is equal to x squared. So this is uh, called the basic parabola. I call this the basic parabola. So let me copy this and uh, paste it here. Okay. So paste and I want to graph this. And now to graph, let's uh, make the x and the y and the coordinates. So this is the x, x, sorry, x coordinate and you've got y which is defined as y is equal to x squared and I'll write c for coordinate. So let's take some negative and positive values. So let's start with say negative 3. Uh, okay, or let's start with negative 2. So let's start with negative 2. If you take negative 2, y is defined as x squared. So you have to put this in the bracket. Negative 2 squared. A negative 2 squared, you should know, is negative 2 times negative 2. And negative times negative gives you positive. So let me write C here. So this is 4. So when x is negative 2, y is 4. Okay, so let's take negative 1. So this is negative 1 squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1 which is 1. So when x is negative 1, y is going to be 1. So let's take, say, 2. So let's take 0. So that's 0 squared, which is 0. So when x is 0, y is 0. y is 0. So if you take 1, it's 1 squared. So let me put this in the bracket, which is 1 times 1. I'm writing 1, that's 1 comma 1. And if you take 2, if it, this is 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. So this is 2 comma 4. So let's graph this. I want graph in the Cartesian, so I want to. So let's plot the points here. Okay, so I can see the points here. So let's plot the point. Negative 2 comma 4 is this point. Okay, negative 1 comma 1 is this point. 0, 0 is this point. You've got 1 comma 1 which is this point. And 2 comma 4 is this point. Now if you join this, you can't draw a straight line, so you have to use freehand. And the shape that you're going to get is called a parabola. So you draw the, you join the points using your free hand. So it's going like this. So this is called a parabola. So this is the equation of this graph is y is equal to x squared. So let, let me talk about this. This is one of the most important graphs you're going to see in secondary school. This is called a basic parabola. So these two sides, so these two branches, are symmetrical. So if you draw a dotted line as the mirror line, so the, your y-axis is the mirror line. So this line is called, or the y-axis is called the axis of symmetry. This is called the axis of symmetry. Or in simple language, it is can be treated as a mirror line. Symmetry. So why why its symmetry means these two are reflection of each other. So this is one branch and this is the other branch. So if you treat this as a mirror line, so let me write that is as a mirror. If you treat this as a line, as a mirror line or line of symmetry or axis of symmetry, these two are reflection of each other. Okay, so the next equation is y is equal to x squared plus 1. So let me go back, so let me delete this. Okay, delete. I want x squared plus 1 now. So the equation changes to y is equal to x squared plus 1. 
So what will happen here? I want you to do this yourself. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. You can pause the video and try to do this yourself. So let me... Hopefully you have done this. So I'm going to directly write the answer. So yeah, this is negative 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. So when x is negative 2 is 5, when x is negative 1, negative 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. When x is 0, 0 squared is 0, plus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So the coordinates are negative 2, comma, 5, negative 1, comma, 2. You got 0, comma, 1. You got 1, comma, 2. And then you got 2, comma, 5. So the graph would look like this. So let's plot the point, negative 2, comma, 5. So this is this point. Then you got negative 1, comma, 2. Then you got 0, comma, 1. 1, comma, 2. And 2, comma, 5. So if you join these points, what are you going to get? So let me join. So this branch, so this branch goes like this. This goes up to infinity like this. And this is the other branch. Let me draw it better. It goes like this. It's Okay, so the equation of this graph is y is equal to x squared plus 1. So just let me explain, let me draw y is equal to x squared, x squared again so that you can see. The y is equal to x squared was looking like this. Negative 2, negative. This was here. And this is 1, 1, 2, 4. So if you look at this graph, so let me use with a red color. This is the graph of y is equal to x squared. So what has happened? What can you see? So this is y is equal to, this is the graph of y is equal to x squared. This red graph is y is equal to x squared. And this is the graph of y is equal to x squared plus 1. So what has happened? So let's compare the point. This point has gone 1 up. This point, 1 comma, negative 1 comma 1 has gone 1 up. This has got 1 up, this has got 1 up. So each of the points, if you look at the points carefully, this parabola, which is the blue parabola, is the transformation of this parabola. So it has gone 1 up. Okay, so, so let me, we can again pause the video and try to graph the next equation, y is equal to x squared minus 1. Let's graph this equation, y is equal to x squared minus 1. So we need to change the y and the coordinates. Okay, so this was the blue graph. So I'm going to draw a green graph for this. So this is y is equal to, so let me change this. Let me use a green color. So your y is equal to x squared minus 1. Okay, I would like you to do this yourself. So this is C for coordinate. So this would be 4 minus 1, which is 3. Because negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4 minus 1, which is 3. So the coordinate is negative 2, comma, 3. Negative 2, comma, 3. Yeah, this would be 1 minus 1, which is 0. So 1, negative 1, comma, 0. If it is 0, it will be 0 minus 1, which is minus 1. Which is 0, comma, minus 1. 0, comma, minus 1. If it is 1, it will be 1 minus 1, which is 0. So it is 1, comma, 0. And for 2, it will be 4 minus 1 again, which is 3, 2 comma 3. So let's plot the point, and I'll use a green color. The first point is negative 2 comma 3. 
negative 2 comma 3 here okay the next point is negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 comma 0 so this is this point then you got 0 comma negative 1 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3 this is yeah I want you you to look at so let me use a green color so let us join these points this is this branch and this is this branch so what's happening here this is again a parabola the equation of this is y is equal to x squared minus 1 so when you compare with the red which, which uh, with the red parabola which y is equal to x, x squared what can you see or what can you say about the green parabola well it has gone one down this point zero zero have gone down to zero comma one this point which is negative one comma one has gone to one negative one comma zero and so on so if you look at the red parabola which is a basic parabola and you compare with this this negative one what it does is it takes this parabola the whole thing one down okay so i would like you to graph four and five and six seven eight and nine yourself and see first plot it plot the points and compare it with this parabola y is equal to x squared okay so all other parabolas are transformation of this parabola so what we are saying is this parabola x squared plus one means this parabola has gone one up minus one means the basic parabola has gone one down this would mean if you graph it you will see that the basic parabola or each point of the basic parabola will go two up this will be two down i want you to investigate about these graphs what will happen when you compare this with this type of graph all these four has a common feature if you graph it first take any point any values of x find the values of y plot the points and see how each of this graph is related with this basic parabola